welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing two brand new die sets. We have our Shadow Box Card Ocean add-on, which goes along with our original Shadow Box Card. It gives you a new opening and some new little inserts for it. And then we have our Shadow Box Card Theater add-on, which also gives a new opening for the Shadow Box Card and some fun little decorative elements as well. So first up, we're going to take a look at the ocean add-on. And I love this add-on so much because it turns the shadow box card into an aquarium of sorts. So we've got this really gorgeous little scalloped opening, and then we have that fun wavy border, some two little wave inserts, and then some fun little decorative elements like seaweed and that cute little whale and some bubbles that you can use to decorate your scene. We also have these little wave accents, which you can layer on to your little ocean inserts, die cut them, and then have this cute little wave detail on those as well. And that cute little whale just makes me smile. I love how you can have the water coming out of his spout. And then here's a look at how those two little ocean inserts will work inside of the shadow box. They look really great layered one in front of the other. Now we're taking a look at the theater add-on, and this is so fun because it turns your shadow box card into a stage. I love the new style of opening and those cute little curtains and that little hill insert too, which you could use in a lot of other shadow box designs as well, not necessarily even theater ones. And I love the little ties for the curtains too. Now here I wanted to show you all of the different types of openings that you can use in the shadow box card. The ones along the bottom are the original ones, and the ones up top are these two new ones. So I love the fun and different looks that it gives the shadow box card. Now we're going to work on an ocean shadow box card. So I'm die cutting my base piece, and then I'm going to die cut with the opening that's included in the ocean card. What I love about this opening is that you could use it for any type of shadow box card, but we are going to try it with the ocean one today. Now you're going to fold along the score lines that the die creates for you. So kind of right in the middle of it and then the little tab on the edge and then we'll repeat it on the piece that has the opening, folding right about in the middle and then right there on that tab piece. We're going to add some nice strong tape to both of the tabs. Then we'll remove the adhesive from one of the tabs and we're going to attach these pieces so that they form one long piece. So there we've removed the adhesive and I'm just going to kind of butt those two pieces up against each other and I'm going to push that flap down, attaching them and creating one long piece. Next we're going to decorate the inside of the shadow box card here with some watercolor wishes paper cut to 3 and 1 8 by 2 and 3 quarters and 2 and 5 8 by 2 and 1 8. I'm going to add some adhesive to the back of those pieces that I trimmed down and we're going to layer them in the back and on the side so that when you look into this little kind of aquarium or ocean we're kind of looking in and seeing ocean everywhere. Next, I'm going to peel off that liner tape and we're going to attach that to the front of the box, creating the box so that we can start to decorate the inside. Now you'll see how cool that's looking. So I'm going to die cut one of those wave inserts. So the original box had some hillside inserts and I love the addition of these waves for fun ocean scenes. So I'm bending along the tabs on either side and then adding adhesive to those two little tabs. I'm going to attach the ocean wave there onto the left side of the box. Then I'm going to close the box and kind of guide this one shut there so that it attaches when the box is completely flat, just like that. Then I'll press down, it's going to be attaching right in the perfect place, and now I've got that awesome ocean wave in there. I die cut some of the seaweed pieces from the die set from Cilantro and Noble Fur cardstock, and I also stamped and colored and die cut some images from You Are Sublime, which is perfect for this awesome ocean add-on. So I'm adding some of the fun little seaweed elements there in the coral along the front of the box, and then I'm going to attach my angler fish and then my other cute little fish right onto the ocean wave. Next, I'm going to layer my little seaweed pieces in the back to kind of help set my scene. And then once I've done that, I've also die cut some of the cute little heart bubbles, and I'm going to layer those like they're coming out from the fish, like they're in love. It's so cute. <laughs> Now I'm going to add my cute little eel there to the side of the box to kind of decorate so that when you look both on the back and the sides you have this fun decoration. And then I'm going to add these two cute little fish to the left side of the box. I die cut my wavy banner there from some peacock cardstock, and I'm going to take the sentiment from You Are Sublime, which is You Light Up My Life, and I'm going to attach it to my block and then kind of curve it on my block to match the curve of the wave of that die. And I love that wavy banner so much. I know I'm going to be using it on a ton of cards. 
So there I'm going to stamp that in some black licorice ink. Then I'll add some adhesive to the back of that banner and attach it to the front of my box. Once I attached it, I realized that I had put my hearts up a little bit too high. They were covered by the banner. So I just popped them right off and put them down a little bit lower. And now it's looking so cute. And I love just turning this from side to side and seeing all the fun elements all around my awesome little ocean scene. Then this card is going to fold flat, fit in a standard size envelope. And when the recipient open it, they're going to have this awesome surprise. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. And then you can write your little message on the back of this awesome ocean themed box. Next up, we're gonna be working with the theater add-on, which is so much fun. And I love the opening style for this one. And once again, you could use these openings for any type of cards. They don't have to be ocean or theater themed. They could be like a cute little forest scene or anything that you can think of. But in this case, we're gonna work on a theater for our awesome little fox playing a French horn. So I'm lining up that window right into my shadow box piece there. I'm holding it in place with some low tack tape and I've die cut a plain piece and then a piece with the window and I'm folding along that score line in the middle and the little tabs on the edges of both pieces. Then we'll go ahead and add some strong tape there to both of the tabs of these pieces, and this is all cut from Storm Cloud cardstock. And then we're gonna remove the adhesive on one of those tabs, and we're gonna line it up so that we can create one long piece. Next up, I've trimmed some watercolor wishes paper to be the back of my stage here, and then we're gonna die cut the insert piece from some paper bag cardstock. I'm gonna fold along those two little tabs along the score lines that the die created for me, and then I'm gonna add some adhesive to those tabs. Now in this case, I'm gonna use a different method for adding the insert. I'm gonna actually add the insert before I close the whole box. So I'm gonna attach it there to the left side of the box, pressing down, down nice and firmly. I'm gonna fold that insert piece flat, and then I'm gonna close the right side there, kinda of like a book, and I'm gonna pick up that adhesive. Then I can peel off the adhesive on my little tab there and close the whole thing. I kind of use both methods. It kind of just depends on what mood I'm in. They both work. And so you can decide which one is your favorite and just use that one every time. So there now I've got an awesome box with my little stage in it. Now I've die cut my little curtains and then the top part of my curtains from some chili pepper cardstock. And then my little curtain holders there, I'm cut from some sunflower cardstock and I'm just adhering those onto my curtains. And then I'm gonna add some adhesive to the top and the sides of my curtains and the top of the little swag at the top of the curtains and attach those in. I probably should have attached these before I formed the box, but I kind of forgot. And honestly, it was easy to do this way too, so it worked out. And then here I'm gonna attach that little swag for the top and now it's really looking like an awesome stage with those classic red curtains. I went ahead and stamped and colored and die cut the cute little fox from Critter Concert and now I'm going to put him on stage like he's at Carnegie Hall or something and then I'm going to stamp a sentiment just a little note to say and I'm going to die cut it with a sentiment banner but my banner was just a little bit too long so I'm going to run it through my die cut machine just like that and then I'm gonna take the banner die and line it up with the end of my phrase and hold it in place with some tape and then die cut it again. And that's gonna get me a custom sized banner. Um, and I love doing this just to get the perfect size depending on my sentiment. So I'll add some adhesive to the back of that banner and then I'm just gonna attach it to the bottom of the box. And then I can write my message that goes along with the just a little note to say on the back of the box. Now here I've got our little music notes dies and I've die cut them from some black licorice cardstock and I'm just gonna layer them around in the back as if the fox is playing his French horn. It's just kind of a fun little decoration, quick and easy, but super, super cute. I had so much fun making this shadow box card and it was actually really quick and easy because it was just a ton of die cutting but it packs a big punch because it can fold flat in the envelope and when the recipient opens it, they're gonna see this awesome three-dimensional stage and oh my goodness, it's just so cute and so much fun to make. And now here is the look at the two shadow boxes that we created today. I love them so much. I love how they're two totally different themes. The little opening styles make it look really, really different from each other. So you're really getting a lot of fun new shadow box looks. And I love that you could use those opening styles and those inserts for lots of different types of cards, not necessarily just theater and ocean cards. Now we have some incredible cards by the design team and Kay created this gorgeous ocean themed shadow box card with her You Are Sublime characters. I love how Lynette used the die cuts from the Ocean Box add-on, but used them on a card front. This is just so adorable. And then I love how Debbie used the cute little whale included in this set. This card just makes me smile. 
I love how Melissa included the manatees into her shadow box. They're so cute. And I love how the ocean themed that shadow boxes work really well with other sets that we have, like the mermaid set, which is one of my most favorites. Here, Letitia used the elements from the theater on a card front, and I think it's just adorable. And then here, I love how Elise created this cute little theater with the stars and also the little spaceship in the back. It's just so cute. Here, Elena used the characters from Critter Concert to create an awesome theater shadow box, and I love how she put the little trumpet ba playing bear in the front of the card. And I just love how Audrey included the shark from Dunna into her ocean-themed shadow box. And then this fun theater scene is just so sweet by Lizzie. Oh my goodness, I just love the red curtains. They're just so classic and fun. And then I love this aquarium that Yanea created. The floating bubbles are just amazing. She used created that using some acetate and it's really just creates some amazing dimension in the card. And then Shari got really creative and also used the elements from the theater set on a card front. And I love those little smiling stars. They're so fun. So I cannot wait to see what you guys do with these new shadow box add-ons. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.